All right, section six, lights, maintenance, rule number 86 with the electrical equipment, lighting of the locomotive, so with the equipment, the maintain safe with the serviceable condition, locomotive, with the um, used in the road trip with the rule number 86 with each locomotive, with the fair road trip with the between the sunset and sunrise, will have the headlight of form with the sufficient illumination, locomotive, with the engine man with the clear atmosphere, with the dark object, with the larger of the man standing erect with a distance of at least 800 feet with the front of the locomotive, each locomotive regularly required to run backward, any portion of the trip except for the picked up of the detail of the portion of the train with the making of the terminal move with the rear headlight with the witch for the meat with the requirements of the A above. Such a light will provide the device whereby the light will be made to diminish from the station of the yards where meeting the train when the two or more locomotives are used in. Same trains only with the leading locomotive will be required to display with the headlight locomotive given the yard trip with the rule number 88. Each locomotive given the yard trip with the between sunset and sunrise will have two lights, one located in front of the locomotive, one with the rear. Each of these lights will be sufficient to enable the person with the cab light of the locomotive under the conditions set forth in rule number 87. See dark objects such as the described of a distance of 300 feet in front of the headlight. Cab lights rule number 89. Each locomotive the youth between sunrise and sunrise have cab lights provide the sufficient illumination between, upon steam and air water gazes to enable the engine man to make necessary accurate reading for usual proper position. And the cab of these lights will be located with the construction so the war so that the light will shine only when those parts requiring illumination. Section 7. Throttle and reversing gear ash pans.